Imagine if you could stream games on YouTube, but invite your viewers to play with you by just clicking a button. <laughs> Believe it or not, that's a thing you can do right now. VidIQ. VidIQ. VidIQ.com. Hello, I'm Dan, and this is VidIQ, the YouTube tool, academy, and channel that helped educate you along your YouTube journey. And I have a question for you today. Do you use Google Stadia to play games? And if not, tell us why. In case you aren't familiar with Stadia, it's a relatively new gaming platform, actually made by Google, and it's meant to sort of be the Netflix of games, if you will. What's really unique about Stadium is that regardless of what kind of computer you have, you're actually just streaming the games from their systems to whatever device you're using. These devices can range from being a phone to a tablet to even a Chromebook. All you really need is a compatible device and a decent internet connection. Currently, you only need to pay $10 a month for access to Stadia's game library, and they also have a store where you can buy more premium titles. The concept here is pretty cool. To answer my own question though, I personally haven't been too mindful of Stadia because I haven't been very captivated by their games library, although I do feel like over time it will improve. If you're a YouTuber who happens to be interested in streaming Stadia games to your channel, you have the option to invite people to join you in real time. This feature is known as Stadia Crowdplay, and it's baked into YouTube right now. There's no Steam friends list to invite people to, there's no IP addresses to share, you simply start up your game, open up the queue, and one by one your viewers can line up to play the game with you. An additional way for your audience to participate in your gameplay would be crowd choice. This allows you as the broadcaster to start a survey, and using it your audience can now interact with the game in the moment while you're live and dictate what happens next. As cool as these crowd participation features are, they won't be without limitations. The biggest one being developers. They actually have to implement this into the games they make. So obviously from the broadcaster's perspective, you need to be choosing games that have crowd play enabled as a feature, if of course it's something you want to take advantage of. And then from the viewer's perspective, they need to have access to Stadia as well as the game itself. These limitations speak to a larger issue, and that is, are enough people playing on Stadia? Considering Stadia is so new, I'm personally worried the answer to that question, at least right now, is no. But I'll be curious to see your feedback in the comments. Not only does Stadia need to attract us as gamers, but they also need to attract developers to make games for their platform. I did pick up a free trial of Stadia to make this video, and while there are a couple of games that I genuinely had fun playing, I'm just not sure I'm ready at this time to commit to yet another $10 a month subscription service. So. Once I finish what I'm playing, I likely won't renew, at least not until more games are released. We have to remember, though, that we are on the cusp of a new Xbox and a new PlayStation getting ready to drop this year. So with the next generation of consoles upon us, Stadia has a fantastic opportunity here. If they can get a couple of next-gen titles on their platform, this could be a fantastic alternative for people who just aren't ready to spend money on a PlayStation or an Xbox right now. So with all that being said, I do believe this is a platform that could take off. I mean, anything that's gonna let me play Red Dead Redemption 2 on a smartphone is something worth looking into. This makes Stadia super accessible, and as an added bonus, Google is weaving it into their other products like YouTube. In the grand scheme of things, Stadia is very much in its infancy when you compare it to Sony or Xbox or Nintendo. So I think they have plenty of time to expand their library, optimize their service, and really solidify themselves as a leader in the gaming space. I think for a lot of gaming channels here on YouTube, what this really comes down to though, is the selection of games. So assuming that Stadia has the games you're interested in playing on your channel, is Crowdplay something that you think you would use? Let us know in the comments, and hey, don't forget to subscribe for more videos just like this one here at vidIQ all the time. We'll see you in the next one.